Welcome to this hands-on tutorial where we're building an industrial strength DCJN from the ground up on Collab. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, JNs are powerful, but notoriously temperamental. We'll lean on decades of best practices, clear configuration patterns, robust data pipelines, explicit weight initialization, and systematic logging, so you know exactly what's happening at every turn. By the end of this walkthrough, you'll have a reproducible setup for generating 64 by 64 images, full tensorboard monitoring, and scripts to save both model checkpoints and sample outputs. Let's dive in. In this first cell, we establish our foundation. We import PyTorch and its vision modules, set up a clean configuration class with data classes, and define every hyperparameter in one place, batch size, image size, latent vector length, learning rates, and file paths. This traditional pattern, defining all your magic numbers up front, ensures maintainability and makes it easy to compare runs. We also create our checkpoints and sample directories, and spin up a tensorboard writer to record every metric and generated image. Think of this as laying the rails before the train rolls. Next, we load Celeb A, a large, well-studied face dataset, so you don't have to wrestle with folder structures. We apply a classic transformation, resize, center crop, tensor conversion, and normalization to dash one one. This normalization is critical, without it, your generator's tan output and discriminator's batch norm layers will fight each other. We wrap it all in a data loader with shuffling, pinning, and multiple workers for speed. Traditional ML wisdom, clean, normalized data is half the battle. Here we define the generator and discriminator per the original DCGN paper. The generator up samples a 100 dim noise vector through transpose convolutions and batch norm using ReLU activations, until it spits out a 64 by 64 RGB image with tan. The discriminator mirrors this in reverse, using leaky ReLU and sigmoid to output a single probability. We also apply he-style weight initialization, another must-have from the old school, to avoid vanishing or exploding gradients right off the bat. This block is where theory meets practice. With models in place, we instantiate binary cross-entropy loss, BC loss, the go-to for vanilla GANs. We fix a batch of noise vectors, fixed underscore noise, so we can monitor the same samples across epochs. We create atom optimizers with beta equals 0.5, again, straight from the DCJN playbook. Finally, we log our configuration to TensorBoard so that anyone auditing your work can see exactly which settings produced which outcomes. No mysteries, no magic. This is where the rubber meets the road. For each mini-batch, we first update the discriminator on real images, then on generated, fake, images, computing gradients and stepping the optimizer. Next, we train the generator to fool the discriminator by maximizing the probability that fake images are classified as real. We log losses every 100 steps, save checkpoints after every epoch, and export image grids so you can visually inspect progress. Warning, expect wobbles, in practice you may need to tweak learning rates or batch sizes. But this loop gives you the industrial grade scaffolding. Now that training is running, Fire up TensorBoard with percent TensorBoard logger run slash GAN underscore experiment. You'll see loss curves, image samples evolving from noise to faces, and any hyperparameter changes you log. It's the most honest reporter you'll find, no fluff, just data. In this final cell, we load the generator weights from the last epoch, draw fresh noise, and produce a batch of images. We arrange them in an 8x8 grid and display them with matplotlib. If you want to share or archive results, we save the grid to final underscore generated underscore grid dot png. This gives you both an interactive preview and a static artifact to show colleagues or stakeholders. We've just built a bulletproof DCGN pipeline on Collab, from configuration and data loading to model definitions, training loops, monitoring, and final sample generation. 
No guesswork, no hidden defaults, everything is laid bare. Remember, JN's demand patience, inspect your TensorBoard dashboards regularly, adjust hyperparameters conservatively, and iterate. Keep this structure as your go-to template, and you'll be ready to tackle higher resolution datasets or more advanced JN variants with confidence. Until next time, keep your code clean and your experiments reproducible, that's how real progress happens.